how is everybody doing today? Today is Thursday and that means I am coming to you for week 19. I think it's 19. If I get it wrong, of course it'll be titled uh, as the description in the title. So uh, let's get to stats. First, uh, my highest weight was 245 and that's when I was pregnant with my kids. I got down to 220 and then I stayed at 220 for like 10 years. I started this journey at around 218 to 220 and then, and then I had my surgery July 2nd, 2015. So excited to start a new journey. I went to Tijuana, Mexico, not in the slums area, the nice area of Tijuana. Yes, every city has their bad and good parts and we were in the good parts. And I had it through alighterme.com and it was with the doctor, Dr. Elias Ortiz. He was probably one of the best doctors, surgeons I have ever seen and he has quite the reputation. I trust this doctor over most of the doctors here in the US. Now, after having the best, one of the best experience you can have undergoing weight loss surgery. Surgery day, I was at 208 because I the whole pre-op diet, I had lost a good 11, 12 pounds. And then I was 208 during surgery day. And then uh, today, I think I'm at 165. I can't tell you if I'm lower. I've been at a six week stall. I contacted Rhonda who is kind of like the aftercare nurse and we keep in touch with each other in email and she just, you know, I gotta lower my carbs and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm not losing weight. Also, I'm not being active due to um, our circumstances and most of you know our circumstances with my son. Other than that, I don't know what I weigh. I haven't been around a scale. When I get to the hospital, I'm sure I'll step on their scale. Their scales are typically two to three pounds heavier than mine at home. So I minus two pounds to average it out. So I can't wait to get on a scale. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting on a scale every day. It helps keep me accountable. And with me not being on a scale every day, I've been going nuts. Um, I need to keep myself accountable and so when I'm not watching my weight, I just start eating and feeding and eating and feeding and then not caring. So I don't stay on top of it. The scale actually helps me stay accountable and there's very few people like that. Who There's a lot of people who would rather stay off the scale, not me. So my favorite today is the PB Fit. I love powdered peanut butter. It's like PB2. Peanut butter too, this is peanut butter fit. 85% less fat, gluten-free, non-GMO, all natural, vegan, and kosher. Mm -hmm. And it does taste like peanut butter. I add this to my, into a cup. I also add French vanilla coffee flavored. This does have some of the processed sugars in it, so I don't add a lot, but it takes away the taste of the protein. So I'll add this, this, and a little bit of this to take away. So it's like French vanilla peanut butter. Um, hello. But the carbs in all, this one's four grams. This one is three grams. So there's, there's seven grams so far. And then this one has five grams. With all these three, I'm getting 12 carbs. Uh, I don't know how, if it's per 100 calories. I'm not sure because this, has 160 calories and per serving this would have 50 calories. Per serving this would have ooh, one teaspoon, so it's not bad. That's good, it, it does satisfy me. I can only drink half and I sip this throughout the day. I put a little bit of peanut butter in this in there and I am absolutely doing amazing. Um, I like to drink a Gatorade too has less sugar than normal Gatorade. In fact, when I try to drink regular Gatorade, it's just too sweet for me. I stick with the G2 if I need like my juice fix because I used to be very, very addicted to juice. Hold on. I was very, very addicted to juice and that was pretty much my downfall. So I, anytime I drink juice now, it's way too sweet, which is an absolutely great thing because I can't drink it now because I'm like, ooh. So I like how my taste buds have changed so I don't, I can't handle too many sweets. I like this cup of soup. 
it only goes into one small coffee mug and I pretty much eat a couple of noodles I don't eat a lot of noodles because noodles are carbs but I do sip on the juice and sometimes I even strain the noodles out so um, and I just drink the juice and you know what I'm I'm hanging back off of uh, solids so much because of my stall so I'm kind of doing a step back to get myself back on track however I went to Cheesecake Factory the other day no I didn't have any cheesecake but they have a skinny licious menu. I absolutely will be going back to Cheesecake Factory if I want something to eat because they are amazing. In the skinny licious menu, they had salmon, and what I had was lettuce wrapped Mexican style chicken tacos. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe you how amazing the, the chicken was marinated. It was so delicious. It wasn't too dry. I mean, it was a little bit of dryness. But it had pico de gallo, had salsa, had sour cream, tomatoes, cilantro, chicken, and wrapped in a piece of lettuce. And you guys, that was probably one of the best meals I've had by far. But they gave you three of them. I was only able to down one, which was I think about two to three ounces, and I was completely full the rest of the day. It was crazy. But I will be going back to Cheesecake Factory due to that they have the skinny licious. Uh, menu. If you guys have a Cheesecake Factory around, I recommend it. They have a wonderful menu there. It is absolutely amazing. Let's see, non-scale victories. First, you like my hair? I went all blacky black. Uh, I needed to cover all the bald, bald spots, so I put my bang down because all these are, it's all bald right here, so I put bangs down. I dyed it black so it wouldn't be as noticeable. I'm trying to keep my hair covering every section because if, it, if I went like this, I want you to see how thin my hair is. My hair used to be way thicker than this, but it's, look how thin this is. I mean, I can just, I mean, that's, that's pretty thin. Um, this is all I have left of my hair, guys. It's all I have left. I might get one of those wigs where you, um, it's only shows at the bottom, so I have thicker at the bottom. I do not recommend extensions. Extensions go into your scalp, and then when you want to pull them out, they rip your hair out. So it's not a good idea to get extensions, but maybe a half wig or something, which is a good idea. Um, Non-scale victories, sitting on a couch in uh, crisscross applesauce style, which used to be Indian style. I could bring my knees up like this. I am feeling a lot more comfortable in shorts and I can walk around in shorts as long as I shave my legs. I didn't shave my legs, but I'm wearing shorts. Um, I'm feeling a lot more energetic, uh, except for recently because I'm losing sleep at night. I still haven't heard back from my obstructive sleep apnea test, so I'm waiting for the doctor to uh, call me back and let me know what the test results are. Maybe I should call them and see if they got the test results back. Um, I haven't called them yet, so it's not much of a long update today. There's really not much to update. Uh, I've just been really, really busy making sure that my son's taken care of because he is undergoing chemotherapy treatments. If those who are new to my channel, my son was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma cancer back in 2010. That was one of the reasons why I pushed to take care of me because I needed to be there for him and I was just going spiral downward down the hill on my health and so I made sure to take care of me to take care of him and it was one of the excuses I used. <laughs> uh, hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Shout out to you. So if you are going to be joining and uh, doing weight loss surgery, let me know. I'll come to your channel if you're doing videos and I'll subscribe to you. I love spending sitting in the hospital doing nothing so I will spend hours watching people's journeys it doesn't matter which weight loss surgery I'll watch it so let me know in the comments below what is uh, your favorite protein drink let me know in the comments below mine is premier protein the only one I can down right now um, I make it thicker with peanut butter and flavorable with French vanilla like I said before so what is your favorite uh, protein drink that you like to drink um, just to get that extra protein in during the day. Okay, so I completely forgot. I wanted to say thank you to those who did the Google Hangout with me. That was really, really fun. 
Thank you so much. And the next Google Hangout will be sometime in December after Thanksgiving and after our Disneyland trip. We're going to Disneyland in the beginning of the month, so that's exciting. And that will be a lot of walking and a lot of turkey. <laughs> I will be having a lot of turkey for protein. If you guys want to be part of the hangout, make sure you go to the Facebook page down in the description below. The Facebook page is only for weight loss surgery patients and for YouTubers um, who document their journey as well. For both those, it's not for any pe people that uh, just randomly follow us and has never had the surgery. If you're thinking about having the surgery, had it, or um, you know, you're a YouTuber, that has had weight loss surgery or thinking about it, you guys can join along in the Facebook group. Uh, I do keep updated on the Google Hangouts in the group, so make sure you join on over there. Uh, click on the links down below and we will see you guys all next time. We love you. Ciao. Well, we, as in me, I love you. Yes, all right, bye. Um, and uh, uh, you, so, but, uh, um, uh, and you want to get on, hold on, let me restart from that, let me restart over, all the way over, is, Elijah, can you check to see if this is recording? Never mind, I was not looking. Um, I'm trying to think, I can't. So, um, Too bad per serving. Um, where are the carbs? Oh, so um, uh, so um, from and um, um, oh. okay, is it recording? I hope I'm not like too zoomed in. <laughs>